Hey, hey everybody, I'm Bradley of Bradley Teaches, and I'm here to tell you about this new product called Uno, a web-based platform that helps you easily create, edit, and add dynamic broadcast quality overlays to your live streams and recordings. One of the superpowers of this product is the ability to add and control these overlays remotely through their platform, your mobile device, or hardware like a stream deck. So let's jump in now and check it out. Here we are at overlays.uno, and this is what you'll see when you first get to the site. What you want to make sure you do is either sign up or log in. And I already have an account, so I'm going to go ahead and log in. Now, once you log in, you'll be brought to the My Overlays section of the website, but you can always go back to home by clicking home and getting back to the page that we were just on. Now, one thing that I wanna let you know about is when you log in, you get this send feedback button and Uno is very responsive to your feedback. So if you have any ideas for overlays you'd like to see, please let them know about that. Now here on the home page, you have some different news. You have categories that they have here, some featured overlays, new overlays, popular overlays, trending overlays, but let's go here to the library. Now the library shows all their overlays that they have at the time and right now at this recording, there is 353 overlays and growing. Now what I want to do is talk about a couple of things here. You have the different types of overlays, functions you may want them to have, categories, themes, and even the data source that you want to pull in to your dynamic overlay. But for this demonstration, we're going to go to one of our typical style overlays, which is a lower third. So I'm going to go over here to the type and click lower third. As you can see, as you mouse over each of the overlays, you see its intro animation and its exit animation. So these are all built in. You don't have to mess around with them too much. They're ready to go. But let's pick something basic. We're going to go with this overlay here. So I'm going to click that and you actually now see the animation again. And I'm going to add that to my overlays. You see the overlay that we just picked is now in our library. Now you can edit the name of the overlay here and that would be a good idea if you're going to have several overlays that use the same theme. But what's good about it is that this layer of information across here cannot be edited and you can use those things to help you find this same overlay later. So I'm going to leave it as the name it is now. I'm going to click the three dots and go to open. Now this is where the magic happens. We're now in the design interface and as you see here across the bottom, you have different panels. In this overlay, it has two panels that relate to the overlay and the third panel called settings is the global settings for all the panels. And each of the overlays has this as one of its panels, the settings panel. But let's go here first because it's the universal type settings. Now in there, you can turn on the preview window, the panel menu, the navigation buttons on and off. You can have a dark or light theme. And then down here, I usually keep mine on auto because it will automatically show you as many panels as it can based on your monitor size. Now some of these overlays may have six panels and then you'll have the left and right buttons to get back and forth through them. So now let's edit this overlay and add it to our live stream. If you click on on and off, it turns the overlay on and off. And let's go here to line one, Bradley teaches, and then line two, the video graphics coach. Now this second column here, you can change the color. It's going to kind of drag this close to my colors. I like that. And you can also change the font color, which I'm going to leave white. Now you can also change the opacity of the inside of this overlay to full fill or some type of gradient. You can actually also change its position. So now that all of that is done, let's visit this top area here. Now this is where you get your links to use in your live stream and also your remote control access. So this first one here is the output URL. This is the link that you will copy and paste into your live streaming app like Ecamm to use this overlay. The second one here is the control URL. If you want to give someone access remotely to control this overlay, that's the link they need. You also have here your UNO token, which can be used with the stream deck. Then you have here the API description. Then you have your helper dropdown. 
So let's go here first to the output URL. We're gonna click that and we have it saved to our clipboard. So now let's go back to our live streaming app and show you how to use these features. Here we are back in Ecamm, and now that we have copied our output URL, I'm gonna show you the process of adding it to your live stream. So now in Ecamm, I'm gonna to go to my overlays palette here, and I'm gonna mouse down to the bottom till I see the globe. So let's click that, and I'm going to paste in the overlay URL that I just copied. I'm gonna leave the width and the height, the size of my screen, so go ahead and add this widget overlay. And as you see here, the overlay is here. So let me size it up to fill my screen. And now you see the overlay. Now this is the control panel window that we just left in Uno. So with that in mind, let me show you some different things that you can do. So we can go here, let's go back and we can turn it on and off dynamically. Now this is all happening real time as I'm recording. So on the right hand side, you have the Uno interface. On the left hand side, you have my live broadcast. So right now I'm recording. Now I can also go to the area here and make dynamic changes. Change it to my name and it automatically changes in my live stream. This is awesome y'all. So now let's go back over here. We can turn on and off the second line of it dynamically. We can go over here to customize. We can change the colors. And everything dynamically changes. Pretty cool, right? Now, here's where the super, super power comes in. I'm gonna make one more transition and show you the interface using a mobile device. So I'm gonna go over here to the control link, click that, and it gives me a QR code that I can also use for a mobile device. So let me go ahead and scan that. And I'm doing that just with my photo app on my phone. And now as you see, the Uno control panel interface is now on my mobile device. And we can now go into mobile and change all the dynamics of this overlay as we choose. So let's go back over here to the first panel that basically turns the overlay on and off. And this is all being done through a mobile device. Now what's great about this, you can give this link to someone else or use it on your mobile device here close to you if you don't have a stream deck or something like that. And obviously you can also use it on your stream deck. So I can also go here, change the text, Hit done on that, and it dynamically changes. Now we can even go to customize, change the color by using the eyedropper or the color panel. We can also change that base opacity to something different, make it more transparent if we like. And this is all changing dynamically. As you see here on my mobile device, it's also changing in the live stream. We can change the positioning. We can also change the size and the width. So let's go to smaller size here. We can also change the height. So all these things can be done dynamically through a mobile device. This adds a whole new level of features where you can now have someone remotely controlling your overlays from a remote location, from nearby you. You can do it yourself through your mobile device. This is one of the superpowers of this app. It's as easy as that. Jump in and explore the growing library of overlays and stay tuned for my upcoming videos for a deeper dive into this product. Keep creating y'all. See y'all soon. Bye-bye.